Hello and welcome to Wildlife Camp. A very innocent looking hyena but soon to engage in some vandalism. It was a very successful patch of water lilies, probably my favourite patch, it was doing so well. And I think the reason the hyena was interested in it is that water lily roots around them is a lot of sludge and it tends to be pretty foul smelling, a mixture of rotten vegetation and fish poop, so that's probably what attracted it. I hope this doesn't turn into the same sort of battle I had with the elephants over the reeds, the battle that I lost. I did manage to retrieve the pile of water lily roots, the hyena didn't take them away too far, so I've gone and put them back and took a chunk off of it and put it in the fish pond. Quite a few civet visits in the last few days. They seem quite random. They can be absent for weeks and all of a sudden you get them just about every day. Probably not the same starling that we get up at the house, but just as angry. An early morning drink for the banded mongooses before they go terrorizing the small animals in the area. and back in the afternoon for a quick drink before going to bed. The Swainson's Franklin on the right hand side has spotted an intruder and is about to deal with it in very comical fashion. I lowered the camera because I thought it was too high and put it back into pecking range but then I realised there was a stone in front of it that the starling was climbing on. So I've taken that away so it's extra angry now. This is a blue-tailed skink, another quite common garden animal here. 
The males have an orange tail and a green tinge to them, which gives them that other name of rainbow skink. Male giraffes are normally darker than the females, and older giraffes darker than young ones. But this male on the right hand side is very pale, so there is a genetic component. He's much paler than the female on the left. This is a rock monitor lizard, the adult version of the baby we had a few weeks ago. They're not normally associated with water, but when it's hot like this, they're very happy to have a quick swim. I was a bit worried seeing them standing in the water like this. I thought that if they got a fright and ran, they would slip, like the impalers often do, but they seem to handle it pretty well. The vervet monkeys don't often go down to the waterhole, they are quite vulnerable. Baboons can handle themselves against most predators except maybe for lions, but even an eagle would take out these monkeys. Such a peaceful scene. The female in the front is very pregnant and still a month or two to go. Thanks for watching.